What is up, my fellow gamers? We have seen exponential growth over the past couple of months, streaming and uploading videos onto YouTube. And in the process, we've built a strong and tightly knit community based around our various interests, whether it be our intrigue of Chris Chan. Rip headphones users coming? Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Enjoyment of gaming content. Or just hanging out with the chat. Scroll to 4725 to watch Mark say the end. That's, that's, that's not real. That's not real. That's not real. We all have diverse interests that bring us all together, which is why I am proud to announce the opening of the brand new Mark Hub Discord server, a safe and fun place where you can hang out with other chatters and discuss whatever it is that piques your interests with other members of the community. So make sure to join and be a part of the Mark Hub Discord server to day. You won't regret it. I mean, I hope you don't. It would really suck if you did, but I'll respect your opinion. Back to the video! Today, we're gonna react to some Christian. We're on part 12 right now. Really looking forward to getting into it. Uh, Y'all like the, the, the newest video, so I appreciate that like a ton. Encyclopedia Dramatica announced that they removed the Christian page from the site, expressing regret for portraying him in the negative light and apologizing for any abuse or harm they may have caused. But since this was an April Fool's Day prank, Gapple. the page was restored the following day. On the 6th, Chris re-engaged in communications with Joshua Martinez via AOL Instant Messaging. He apologized for the negative things he said about Martinez on ED and claimed that he was a changed man. Christian also told him that he credited Ivy for the rectification of his biological clock, which was the term he used to describe his sleeping pattern. Joshua claimed that he was friends with noted Disney actress Vanessa Hudgens. Uh, <laughs> she apparently even chatted with. Him. I've heard about this. I, I I read I read this. She claimed that she was interested in offering an acting role in her movie to Chris, but she needed further proof of his acting talent. He said that he would think of a sufficient way to audition for her. Christian's aversion to messaging over the internet had lasted only a month. Ten days after. Oh yeah, so that's last that's video that's on true. YouTube, he 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 wanted he wanted to stop like using the internet. He wanted to stop community like after after Blue Spike. Well, the Sanchi and Rose Two site is back up again. His voice the is so high. The address is quickville.com. And I'd like to thank my sweetheart. Is I it just is it just me or does the voice sound like different from last time? If it sounds like I feel like his voice was a lot, it's like a lot higher now. What did that month do to him? <laughs> for her most heartfelt emotional support, and I also would like to thank God Jesus. Our God and our Lord and Savior. Amen. For their support, for their support as well. I pray to them every day, and I follow. I am guided by Jesus. Amen. And with uh, it's with the inspirations that I feel, I will continue the comic about three pages a day, unless uh, you know something comes up. We will be seeing many new many new things. The website will be better. I can feel the cosmos. Peace. Behind the scenes, nice. Christian that was a, had been telling that was a pretty Ivy normal, that his mother that was a had pretty normal video. about doing his laundry because his recent outbursts of stress and emotion often manifested themselves in short spurts of uncontrollable self-defecation. His doctor had suggested that he consider wearing liners, or what Chris called Wait, so he would shit butt garments, himself? <laughs> but he protested, stating that they were made for babies. My heartfully dedicated to my sweetheart, Ivy. I love you, Ivy. And also, she wanted me to dedicate to her pet hermit crab. <laughs> Not fun. She's got a hermit crab. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> okay. Also, want to uh, take a moment to reflect the memory of a uh, past uh, pop cow pal or troll. Still, rumors are flying about. So, but anyway, the one who passed away, Sarah Jackson. Almost silence for. Sarah J. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm, peace. <laughs> Later on, Christian filmed an additional <laughs> video solely dedicated to Ivy's pet hermit crabs. Oh, crabs. I dish my champ. We love you. Can't wait to play with you all. Mm, all especially Ivy. Mm. The, the the two pixels okay, of this peace. video. Chris released yet another video that day, 
in which he embraces his sex doll Kimmy. Oh wow! Taped over her face. Oh is wow! A printout of Ivy's depiction of herself. Oh wow! Here's Ivy. Hi Ivy. That's not normal. That should not be no, acceptable. Not oh wow! Yeah, this is real. Some shit. Oh, good little crabs. Good, good pets. He's, he's a romantic. He's a romantic. I'll say that. Yep. There he, he goes. Quickly took the video down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I freaking love Gino Samuel. Gino, Gino's pretty like I'd say like unbiased like throughout like the whole uh, documentary like so far right like he's very uh he's very just straightforward to the point just like spitting the facts he doesn't like uh, berate Chris for like anything he doesn't like say whether or not uh, chris is wrong or right he just gives the facts of the documentary as like unbiased as possible but like so, but like commentary like that is so funny he then he proceeded to take the video down <laughs> but come on ivy cross some shout in his fourth and final video of the day he imitates a bunny rabbit while dancing the bunny hop for the amusement of ivy's pet hermit crabs <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure the hermit crabs love this. <sighs> the slow fade. On April 14th, Chris resumed communications with Vanessa Hudgens via Joshua <laughs> Martinez's AIM account. Vanessa teased him and tried to make him confess that he would abandon Ivy and have sex with her. After incessantly saying arousing things to him, Chris admitted that she had raped his direction. <laughs> <and talked. laughs> Listen, horny woman, please, let's just concentrate on scheduling our social meeting. Want to put your fingers? I know you're horny. Okay, I will admit that you have raised my erection, but I have my promises to keep. Real adult, grown man, grown man, Begun adult man. The conversation thusly turned into a sex chat. <sighs> Vanessa called him a bitch, and he, in response, typed out his barks. Christian Climax <laughs> exclaimed, bam, bam, bam and in the aftermath, confessed that he loved her. He let Ivy know about their interactions. W Riz. Oh man. This is for my sweetest Ivy's eyes only. <sighs> no. Two days later, the miscreants released a series of private, revealing photos and videos of Chris. The first video was requested by Ivy, who wanted Chris to prove that a semen would acquire the taste of the food he ate most often. No. However, he neglects the objective of the video as he what pours is that? some orange flavor Fanta into his cup of semen. No. Dude, that is actually gross. Oh my god. There you go, Ivy. Orange flavored cup. <laughs> oh my god. Hope you enjoyed that. Oh my god. No the next video way. Was commissioned that is by ridiculous. Vanessa Hutchins, oh which my features god. A naked Christian pretending to slow dance with Ivy in his bathtub. Oh wow, real. <laughs> As retribution for the adulterous nature of his interactions with Vanessa, Ivy forced Chris to film himself spanking himself. Still feeling the issue was unresolved, Chris. Ivy ordered what Chris am I to looking at? of himself wearing a pair of adult diapers, which were sent to him by a troll. Ivy's roommates suggested that he what? write unfit for collection on the crotch area of his diapers. In order to still appear appealing to Ivy, he decided to take a couple of snaps while licking his medallion and winking at the camera. Yes, yeah, so hot. On the this day of so the hot. leaks, Chris had another like chat with Vanessa. Is, is, is a... This time, he rejected her advances. Nevertheless, he attempted to arrange a date with her at a McDonald's in Charlottesville. <laughs> what, a, what a romantic. Next day, what a romantic. Christian uploaded a video on YouTube in which he apologizes to and expresses his devotion for Ivy, who is represented by his sex doll. <sighs> Ivy. The I duality of man. The duality of man is what Christian is. Love and devotion. Yep, real. I promise you my heart, <laughs> my soul, even even my virginity, and all my romantic ways, and all my emotions. My undying emotions, they belong only to you. What a romantic I romantic. swear in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, <laughs> maybe I would never, ever leave you. W is. I love you so much. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ivy Saga is just weird. Jackie Saga is times four. What is Jackie Saga? Oh my god, dude, dude, I can't even believe it. We're just on part 12. This series is like on 75, dude. In another video, also uploaded on April 17th, Christian recites Matthew chapter 5, <laughs> verses 27 through 30 you can't, from the Bible. You can't, just, you can't just do that and then literally the next video, like... <laughs> Like, begin a sermon. <laughs> you can't... Like, there there should be boundaries there. There should be things that, you like, you do and that you don't do. I, I say you don't recite, like, a Bible verse and, like, after you, like, kiss a sex doll for, like, a minute. <laughs> like, <laughs> Which reference adultery and further elaborates oh. on his affair with Vanessa Hudgens. I have been, and I have made a terrible mistake. The post-nut clarity hit. I cheated on my sweetheart, Ivy. <sighs> the other day when I was chatting on instant message with uh, Vanessa, she played with me, but... It is too. so It is so funny. <laughs> Last night, I was on I was on instant messages with the Vanessa Hudgens. <laughs> and you know what? She just, she tempted me. <laughs> she could resist. Like, me, by telling me about how she was playing with herself and whatnot and trying to make me, trying to turn me on, but... For a while, I resisted by talking about Ivy and my promises to her, and I just didn't know how to react. So eventually, I caved in. And even though I was typing in Vanessa, I was actually shouting out Ivy. I I repent. I wish to repent my sin in the in front of uh, everyone who is watching this, and and especially my sweetest Ivy. Ivy, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Surely Ivy will. I repent. I repent. Bruh. Most sane Christian. In the name of all that is holy and good. Amen. <clears throat> please. Leave us alone, you trolls. Leave us alone. <laughs> Amen. I have so much to live for. And I'd be a fool to lose Ivy to give up Ivy. I will never give her up. Two days later, you Trolls down. leaked the unreleased comeback album by Christian and the Hedgehog Boys, which was largely inspired by Christian's relationship with Ivy. In fact, she is the subject of most of the songs on the album, including the reworking of Madonna's Like a Virgin. Like a virgin. Throughout <laughs> mid to late April, Chris continued to chat with Vanessa, attempting to arrange their first meeting. They agreed to meet at James Madison University, where Chris would arrive with a specially made sign, waiting for her to notice him. He also wore the hat he had won for his entry in the Parappa the Rapper contest to make oh, himself wow. more identifiable. Yeah. However, she never showed up. In no! Chat, How Christian could she? claimed that he saw her once, and even called out her name. But apparently, she didn't hear, and he regrettably didn't get up from his seat to meet her. As punishment for not meeting up with Vanessa Hudgens, Joshua forced Christian to go have dinner with him at TGI Fridays and have him pay the bill for the both of them. Aw, oh, come on, now that's just an times. asshole. On now he's just an asshole. Christian oh, lamented come on, man. that he didn't have any money because he had already spent his weekly allowance on their last dinner together. As a result, Joshua ordered and paid for himself, leaving Chris to watch. On April 23rd, Christian released a video in which he mocks right, and physically an threatens I thought, Clyde I thought he, Cash. I thought he was pretty funny because he, I think he had just like, um, they were like together for like therapy, I think. And he found out about the trolls and now he's just taking advantage of him. He's just being a dick. I thought the Vanessa stuff was okay and it was pretty funny, but goddamn, he's just an asshole. Just like taking his money. I have Come a on, bit man. of a message for you in response to the one you sent to me recently. Basically, this is the impression I got from your message. Oh, look at me! I feel like a silly man! Look at me! I had to, don't look at my silly bra! Look at my silly dick! Look at me! I am the troll! I should be troll trolling! I should be trolling again! I don't look at me! Look at me! I'm not getting down to the battalion or something! Come on, Chris. Oh! <laughs> you took out my silly ball! See my silly ball? Look at me! I'm kicking it!
happening. Come on, troll man. Come out of your trust us paradise. Trust us paradise. I'll give you a beat down. <laughs> you don't like that? <laughs> that was funny. Right, I'll be calling you out. I know you're in my neck of the woods somewhere, so just come right on out and find me. Peace. The following day, he uploaded a video. Is there of like a hypothetical... is there physical um, evidence of like how Clyde Cash looks like? It would be pretty funny. Like I want to see like how how would they how would they pair up? Or is it Clyde? Is it Clyde like a teenager? Full marriage proposal to <laughs> Ivy. While Christian's so, cover of knows. Celine Dion's oh, wow. all coming back you to see, me now. Like he does these, he, ma he makes these videos like calling out the trolls being like, Hey guys, stop bullying me. And then he does this shit. Just aliases. Thank you, Oath. You have changed me and formed me into such a more sociable, much better, more humble human being. Yeah. I'll yeah. never forget you forget that. And I owe you so much. So Ivy, I stand, I stand here today. Just one simple question. Will you do me the honor and the my sweetest ivy? <laughs> what follows is a recording of a short comic which later came to be known as oh, well, Sonic, Sonic Chew Special attempted. 2 or The Wedding Comic, attended. which depicts oh, well. Christian and Ivy. That's, a, that's supposed to be Chris. That's supposed to be Chris. Wow. On the same day, Chris there uploaded a video of himself singing a song that he composed himself called I Got a Fish. What an I artist. got a fish, would you like to make a wish? I got a fish, would you like to make a wish? I got a fish, would you like to make a wish? April 27th also <laughs> marked the day that the miscreants leaked several more private videos of Chris. These were originally sent to Joshua Martinez with the intention of giving them to Vanessa Hudgens as part of Chris's audition process. First was a batch of videos which starred no. a shirtless Chris who attempts to display his physical prowess through a myriad uh, of means. Yeah, yeah. Billboard, <laughs> what a strong pretending man. to play Guitar Hero. Lifting an empty office chair above his head. <laughs> yeah, what a strong man. And finally, lifting the same office chair with the addition <laughs> of a basket containing books and other heavy objects. I want you a man from Nantucket! Yeah, he's an actor. He's an actor. And now for something completely different. <laughs> the leak also featured a video called Quick Flying Elephants. The video features a completely naked Christian No way! No way! Room, I was gonna... <laughs> toys, and yelling out uh. seemingly random jokes and references from TV shows such as Monty Python and Ed, Ed, and Eddie <laughs> in an attempt to demonstrate his personal brand of random access just, Oh humor. man, I could just imagine... Oh my god, you the can see... Oh day, wow. Christian was told by Ivy Look that one Chris. of her pupils, a Chinese girl named Ching Chong, had seen the April 16th leaks of Christian's... That's not funny. That is not funny. That is racist. Private photos and videos on Encyclopedia Dramatica and was apparently scarred by them. In response, he made a captain's log explaining the videos. You know that, uh, uh first off, uh, the one with the Navy being drunk, it's a good idea, but, uh, you know, you don't have to do it if you don't like it, but, All right, uh, so he He's justifying him drinking his cum. This is great. This is great. I recycle my own semen because, uh, you know, yes, I do masturbate. I'm not ashamed to admit it. So brave. So As brave. A guy, so I'm brave. Sure have done the same so thing brave. in their time. Basically, I, yeah, into the cup and, yeah, I recycle it. So that that way uh, I won't lose any uh, unborn children. So then I can, I can also still uh, have a, a good semen count. Keep maintaining that by recycling that. This is real. Anyway, up from, after hey, what's that, up, the, Sal? Uh, second topic, <laughs> the uh, one most, where most I normal, thanked myself. Most normal live stream. Yeah, I just, uh, I was doing that for fun. Because, you know, sometimes I do random, silly, crazy things. And uh, third topic, which was the, uh, the uh, photographs of uh, me and the adult diapers. Let's see, let's see him explain this uh, one. Uh, yes, I did, uh, get, uh, free sampling of diapers from a troll, but 
regularly, regularly I uh, do not use them, but I just felt like trying a pair on, and it was okay, not not a big deal. It's just, uh, but you know, I wouldn't, I would not wear them on a daily basis. I wear briefs. Yeah, he's just like me. I wear regular briefs, <laughs> and sometimes I do. Uh, I get very stressed out from uh, people who yell at me or. Uh, Misunderstand me or talk you you shit yourself you you shit yourself just get to the you shit yourself bad about me and between that and yeah. uh, other real life <laughs> stresses uh, it just and it just builds up and sometimes uh, I just have to it just comes out <laughs> and I sometimes I accidentally uh, poo my pants but I mean who has it in their lifetime I mean poo their childhood diapers much less poo their underwear at least once in their lifetime i mean it's so well, it's so sad because it's like seeing it's like hearing a kid like that doesn't really that like is embarrassed to tell you something that they're like ashamed of <laughs> and like eventually like telling you it but like with like their head down and everything it's so it's it's hilarious but it's like sad i'm a human something to be ashamed of i'm only human i just want to continue to make it uh, perfectly clear that i am a healthy, growing, sane, and sound-minded uh, adult individual, and I should continue to be treated and respected as an equal among the human population just as anybody else. An hour later, he uploaded another video in which he denies claims that Ivy is a troll. Ivy is not a troll. She is real. She is true. He is not ready for the and biggest she is my twist sweetheart. soon. We are going to be together in the near future, and we are going to have sex. We're going to lose our virginities to each other. And it's going to be awesome. <laughs> and just so you know, the... Uh, the We're going to have sex. We're going to lose our virginities together. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. You guys know that one, Until Dawn. You want to ruin our fun that bad? Well, guess what? You can't. You can't ruin our good times. This is, this is, this is Chris talking to the trolls. That's right. Later that day, the miscreants leaked Sonic 2 Special 3, which documented Chris and Ivy's wedding night and their first time making love. The newlyweds arrive at the Double Quick Hotel and settle in for the night in their penthouse suite, which is equipped oh, yeah. with at least five complimentary lavender-scented Glade plug-in air fresheners. For the depiction of the love scene, Ivy had instructed Chris to oh. truthfully represent oh. his real-life penis. Oh, wow. Hence, the penis scene in the comic was produced by Christian pressing his own penis down onto the page and no. tracing it around it. No! Making it disproportionately large. No! No, 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 no! Wow! transform to Chris Chan <laughs> Sonichi and Princess Ivy, respectively. They thank God as they... You gotta respect the art. You got It's an art form. You gotta respect it. <laughs> they simultaneously climax. On April 30th, Christian had his last chat with Vanessa Hudgens. She continued to talk about lascivious topics. Chris stated that he was excited about Ivy's visit to Dude, Virginia this, this is in so a few weeks' scuffed, time, bro, oh my and God. also admitted to owning a flashlight, which he received with a purchase of a sex doll. She also linked to him a gallery of photos <laughs> of actress Megan Fox, who Chris mistook for Vanessa and told her that she looked attractive. <laughs> this could be explained they by look the, the possibility same. They look that similar. Christian is afflicted with facial blindness or prosopagnosia, which is not uncommon with persons on the autism spectrum. What does that mean? On May 1st, Christian posted a he's video not, he's for just not gonna explain it. He's just not gonna explain it. Blindness on prosopagnosia, which is not uncommon with persons Person afflicted with, with facial blindness or facial prosopagnosia, blindness? which is not uh, uncommon with facial blindness. Well, I assume it's like just what it what it says. Prosopagnosia is a neurological disorder characterized by the inability to recognize faces. The term comes from the Greek words face and lack of knowledge. So just he just cannot recognize faces. So I assume he just saw a woman and it was like bad is woman. Uh, Megan Fox, uh, Vanessa, woman, sexy. In which he describes the activities they will partake in together. Brain. Hey Ivy, I'm doing this video for you. Oh, we are going to have so much fun together when you and I are together. Bro, he's Gerard. He's actually in, in the Gerard way. Literally Gerard way. Literally Gerard way. Literally Gerard way. 
I'm telling you, Chris should have joined a band. Chris should have joined a band. Mm, you know, my mommy and I, my my family and I will come and meet you at the airport. And you know your choice, so take you to your hotel or uh, bring you back to Why are you speaking like house. that? I mean, uh, you know, we'd be hanging around so much and sharing so many fondful memories. We'll <laughs> have so much fun. <laughs> well, let's have a good time together. <laughs> you know. Joy you know, really we fell can off. enjoy a boob in the theater or at home <laughs> or watch a television rerun. <laughs> Family guy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I look you know, I look forward to the eventuality of uh, you and me having our sex time together. W is. <laughs> I'll do you so many I'll, I'll do my best <laughs> I'll do to you so many you times. keep you satisfied. Let's be as W is for you. Yep. Yeah, it's for you. Hmm. Sure. Sure. Hard after my then. chemical romance awesome. disbanded. Hmm. <laughs> and you know, I know a number of uh, places we could walk around at. You know, we can walk about the malls. Okay. We could walk about the UVA grounds. Good places where there's plenty of green and sunlight. And we can walk the hermit crabs together. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, um, you know. Wonderful memories, so wonderful memories. We're going to have lots of fun. And yeah. I promise I'll remain your good boy forever and for always. Yeah. And, again, yeah. and uh, my friends I've been talking to uh, between on the Internet and real life, they can vouch for me on uh, how good of a boy I have been. Being the good boy just for you, Ivy. <laughs> bro, I love you so much. I love you. Bro, bro is very submissive and very brutal. Good, jo- good job, Chris. So much. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Mm, look at me smile. Mm. It's my smile. Uh, yes, I can. I can see your your two pixels. I ran smile. out of details. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll sing a song. Chris, Chris, no, Chris you don't have to. Proceeds to sing the Mary Poppins song, Jolly Holiday, with modified lyrics. It's the Jolly Holiday with Ivy. The wonder that it's Ivy that I love. I love you so much, Ivy. I love you. I love you. Mm. Talk to you later, sweetheart. Later that day, Chris made a Why complaint don't we put ourselves in video through form this? to the makers of Axe Body Care Products, Unilever. Apparently, it has come to my attention that uh, a bunch of uh, people of the uh, wrong orientation are uh, using the uh, Axe brand. Uh, and by which it I was mean made from oh. the uh, homosexual. <laughs> but thus, the uh, stereotype has been uh, has been made apparently. You'd be gay if you wore it. That's so stupid. It's not. I mean, it's not true. I mean, I'm straight, <laughs> and I have been using ats for years. I'm a proud. I'm a proud user of ats, because originally, as it was originally intended for, and I quote. Effective deodorant protection designed to seduce the ladies, and then later uh, is that real? Is that actually to, uh, is that actually on like an the, Axe uh, body spray? Shower gel. They could see it with that saying, uh, "Hydrate your skin, leaving it so pure that she'll th- that she'll think she's the first to touch it." And then later again in the shampoo, well, she would be for Chris. It says here, "Get girl approved hair, wash attract your peak. Even though the uh, that's crazy. So like the the marketing of Axe body spray like worked so good with Chris, so well with Chris that Chris is defending it against people that call it gay. <laughs> it is not meant for a homosexual dude to attract another homosexual dude. <laughs> bro cannot bro cannot see his oh, reasoning in the middle of the video. So. I hope that uh, Unilever, the company who creates the apps products, uh, see this uh, video on the YouTube. Also, I would like them to, uh, well, I would be sound like uh, some kind of bad person by the time to not oh, sell wow. it to the homosexuals. Oh, well. Just do but not it sell to them. Be more obvious in the package that it is meant for straight people. I don't know how more obvious you can do it based on the taglines that, like, you said, Chris. <laughs> like, made to attract the ladies. How much more obvious can you get, And also, man? I would like to make the following statement. Not for gays. <laughs> like, on the label. You homosexuals, stay off of our app.
he followed up with another video in which he reads out his handwritten letter addressed to the Unilever company, voicing his concerns Bro. about acts and their it's reputation amongst the homosexual population. I write the letter today with concern of hearing that the homosexual population wear the acts by spray as often as or greater than the straight people, like myself. I would ask to ban sale of and use of the products from the homos, but that would be retarded. Instead, I respectfully and humbly request that on like, the package a statement like, such as designed only for straight oriented men or something or strongly not similar. for gays. Please make this so and please do not try to blow me off for having an opinion about the product or having an opinion about the homosexuals. <laughs> Because Bruh. I did not care much about them. <laughs> Sincerely, Christian Weston Chandler, proud, straight, male, act user. God, Inspired by Vanessa's claim oh, that she wow. contributed to her own Wikipedia article herself, Chris decided to register as Wikipedia user Chris Chan Sonichu and used his own user page to write a Wikipedia article about himself. The use of this space violated Wikipedia's policy due to its explicitly private content and lack of any information pertinent to the Wikipedia project. Chris's only contribution outside of his own article was made in the entry for high-functioning autism in which he inserted himself into a list of famous people who may have <laughs> some form of autism. Oh man. His user page was promptly deleted by an administrator under the impression that it was written by a troll. However, this was proven to be not the case, as in a video dated May 3rd, Christian asks for his Wikipedia user page to be restored. I have recently uh, started and uh, completed a whole bunch of uh, truth and honesty about myself in my very own Wikipedia page. But then uh, recently I hear from my uh, sweetheart who uh, looked it up, said that uh, apparently the test was released by the admin saying that I was not important enough. I'm going to go back on there and the uh, world undo versus what Chris. they did, get all the uh, honest truth about myself put back up, and uh, also, I have the support, also, I have contributed a lot more than they think. I mean, I have my own wide fan base for my Sonic Chew and Rose Chew. True, true. I know I have contributed a lot more to my local society than you can ever imagine. I mean, all right, well, I mean, I made the good grades <laughs> in the high school debatable. and in the college and debatable. whatnot. I have done a lot of, bon of good, honest volunteer work at the Pokemon <laughs> Trade Card League, Game Card Game, yeah. Trade Card Game League, before I got kicked out last June in 2008 by that by that uh, jerk, Michael Snyder. But it's anyway, it's crazy how like he remembers all their names, bro. Let's keep my YouTube. I mean, let's keep my Wikipedia Merle page Wash up and, and going, Michael Trump, Snyder guy. I That's have crazy. contributed a lot to society. A lot more than anybody can think. I believe you, Chris. And also, listen to my ancestors and ancestry. My ancestor, aunt, aunt likewise, is Anne Boleyn. So I've descended all the way back to Mary Boleyn. Think about that, Wikipedia. Think about that. Who cares? So don't take me down again. I am well worthy. <laughs> hey, I'll have a good day now. Peace. Peace. Inspired by this latest turn of events, CogsDev founded the Wikipedia, an entire Wikipedia-style oh, wow. website created for the purpose of allowing Christian to edit it in whatever way he pleased. <coughs> Chris was finally convinced by his pastoral counselor, Rocky Shoemaker, to talk about Joshua's <coughs> actions to his parents. They decided that they would all go to the police to report Martinez's swindling scheme. Let's go! While at the police station, Rocky attempted to have all trolls and online friends involved investigated, including Ivy, whom she considered to be a troll as well. This went against the Chandler's wishes to handle the trolling situation on their own. When Ivy found out about this, she broke up with Christian, citing his <sighs> infidelity as the sole reason. Infidelity. He called her non-stop for two days after the breakup, which led to her calling Bob one last time to inform him of the situation. During the call, Bob revealed that they had been saving money to visit Ivy at Boston University, but ultimately canceled the trip when the parents found out that Chris had been using their credit cards for online purchases without informing them and stealing large sums of money out of Barbara's purse. Bruh. Bob said that because of the recent events, Barbara had threatened to kill herself. He ultimately decided that he would handle Joshua by himself due to his lack of trust for the police and his own son's thievery. As for the trolls, 
Bob was convinced that Megan Schroeder, whom he dubbed that cruel German girl, was behind <laughs> all of the harassment. Despite no. all his pleas for her to reconsider, for Chris and his family needed all the help they could get, think, Ivy insisted that the relationship was over and cut all ties with the Chandlers. <laughs> 